Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor our valiant frontline workers and healthcare heroes who have taken care of their neighbors and saved countless lives during the COVID-19 pandemic. This includes nurses, doctors, pharmacists, grocery store workers, truck drivers, and anyone who has risen to the occasion to help others during these unprecedented times. In particular, Jane Spence, Larissa Barnes, Barbie, Bobby Sumner, Amanda King, and Lynn Reynolds have exemplified remarkable selflessness and courage as they work to save lives in the Southeast Georgia health system. Throughout my time in Georgia's first congressional district, I've visited and met countless heroes serving at St. Joseph Candler Hospital, Liberty Regional Medical Center, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Memorial Health Center in Savannah, Wayne Memorial Center, and Wynn Army Medical Hospital. This has allowed me to gain insight to the daily sacrifices that make, they make and their commitment to serving their communities. Doctors and nurses who serve at our Veterans Affairs Health Systems are deserving of recognition for their outstanding work as well. In addition to our health care heroes, I also want to honor leaders and local businesses in our communities. Individuals like Tom and, Ruth and Rita Bolin converted their island drapes and upholstery business to manufacture thousands of face masks a week. I was also encouraged to see the local nonprofits in Georgia's first con in Georgia's first congressional district rise up to address the many challenges from the COVID-19 pandemic. Specifically, the Computers for a Cause movement was formed thanks to the beautiful work of United Way of Coastal Georgia, Keep Golden Isles Beautiful, Communities and Schools, and Coastal Outreach partnering with Coastal Computer Consulting to gather and donate computers for children who don't have access to one. This allowed countless children to continue their education when schools were closed. These folks were working day in and day out, risking their own health and safety, and spending time away from their families and friends to serve us. I want to express my deep gratitude for the work that they do to make America great, and I'm honored to call them my friends and neighbors. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.